What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. So if you're using the Samsung Galaxy phone, then One UI 8 brings you some incredible useful features that honestly make everyday phone use faster, smarter, and more convenient. Some of these are small changes, but they make a huge difference once you start using them. So today I'll be showing you seven One UI 8.0 features that improve typing, multitasking, privacy, Bluetooth, screenshots, automation, and security. And don't forget, I'm also doing a giveaway as a thank you to you guys. I'll be giving away a Samsung Galaxy grip case, so stick around to find out how to enter. All right, let's begin. So feature number one is your suggested replies on Samsung keyboard. So you're at work in a class or shopping and someone texts you, are you on your way? Instead of typing, your keyboard instantly suggests replies like, yes, almost there, or I'll be there soon. One tap and you're done. So this is one of those features that quietly make your phone feel way more efficient. So One UI 8.0 makes messaging faster and smarter with suggested replies built directly into your Samsung keyboard. So when someone sends you a message, your keyboard automatically suggests quick replies based on conversation. So you don't need to type a full response. So let me show you how you can turn this feature on. So here we'll go ahead and open up settings. So here you wanna go ahead and find Galaxy AI, tap on this, then tap on writing assist. Go ahead and switch this feature on, scroll down, and here you wanna find suggested replies. Tap on this, and then go ahead and turn this feature on. So here you'll get AI-powered suggested replies to so chat, text messages. So you'll see suggested replies on your connected Galaxy Watch as well, and on your messages as well. So let's go ahead and press home, and now let's just go ahead and open up WhatsApp. So here I've opened up WhatsApp, and here I have received a message, do you want pizza? So here with the quick replies, you can go ahead and reply all this. So here, sure, I do. What's the deal? No, I don't like pizza. Or sure, I do. What kind? That's one tap. And now to reply back. And there's your reply. Margaret it is, thanks. Or Margaret is, then. So these are all suggested replies. So this saves time when replying to messages. It reduces typing, especially on the go. It makes your conversation feel faster and smoother. And this is great for messaging apps, emails, and social media. Feature number two is your one-handed use improvements. So say for example, you're holding groceries, a coffee or a bag, and only have one hand free. So instead of struggling to the top of the screen like this, with One UI 8.0, it lets you pull everything closer to your thumb, making the phone instantly easier to use. So once you rely on this, it's hard to go back. So here as an example, when I'm holding this phone, I can go ahead and just double tap. And this basically shrinks the screen to this much. And now with my thumb, I can go ahead and reach all the buttons I require. So instead of going all the way stretching like this, I can just go ahead and double tap. And this basically brings the screen into a small size. So Samsung continues to perfect one hand use, which is especially important with larger Galaxy phones like your S25 Ultra. So here you can go ahead and make this for your left-handed, right-handed, or you can go ahead and move it to the top as well. So let me show you how you can enable this. So for this, you need to go ahead and open up settings. You wanna go ahead and scroll down and find advanced features. Now here, you wanna go ahead and find one-handed mode. So here, you wanna go ahead and turn this feature on. And here, you wanna go ahead and decide if you want gesture or button. So gesture is where you need to go ahead and swipe down, and this will basically bring down the one-handed mode. Or button is where you can double tap the home and that will enable the one-handed mode. So this shrinks the screen for easier reach. It makes your large phone comfortable to use. It reduces accidental drops and it's perfect for daily use with one hand. Feature number three is your private album lock. So you hand your phone to a friend or family member to show a picture, but you don't want them scrolling through everything. So with private lock, your sensitive photos stay completely hidden and protected. So peace of mind is built in. So privacy is a big deal and One UI 8.0 gives you the better control with privacy album lock. So you can lock specific photos and videos behind a password, pin, or biometric authentication. So let me show you how to do this. So here in gallery, when I go ahead and open up menu, you'll see this new option called private album. However, you need to go ahead and enable this. So to do this, you wanna go into settings, scroll all the way down until you see about gallery, go ahead and tap multiple times here, until you see a message saying Gallery Labs has been enabled. So this will basically enable a new menu here, the secret menu called Gallery Labs. You can do that at least for about seven to eight times. Tap on this, switch it on, and then go ahead and find private albums. Go ahead and turn this feature on. 
So now to use your gallery albums, you wanna go ahead and restart the gallery app. Tap on gallery, go ahead and look at your picture. So say for example, I wanna go ahead and hide these three screenshots. So to do this, I'll go ahead and long press on them, select it, press more, and then go ahead and tap on move to private album. So this will basically disappear from your normal album. If you wanna go ahead and view those pictures, tap on menu, then tap on private album. Here you need to go ahead and provide your fingerprint, face ID, or a pin. So I'll go ahead and use my fingerprint. So as you can see, these are all the photos which are placed in my private albums. So these are the pictures which I've just placed. So these pictures are now away from the normal albums, which people can see. They're not able to see your private album. So this keeps personal photos and videos secure. So this is ideal if you share your phone with others. No need for a third party app. And this is integrated directly into Samsung Gallery. Feature number four is where you can connect two Bluetooth devices at once. So you're watching a movie or listening to music with a friend and both of you want a wireless headphones. So instead of passing one earbud, you can connect to two Bluetooth devices at the same time. Problem solved. So it's small, but it's super practical. So One UI 8.0 allows you to connect two Bluetooth devices simultaneously, and it's more useful than you might think. So let me show you how to do this. So here I have a boombox, a soundbar, and I've got my Galaxy headphones. So we'll connect both of the devices to the Samsung phone. So to do this, you wanna go ahead and open up your settings, go into Bluetooth. Now here you wanna go ahead and find those devices. So I've already connected in the past. So this is a SC211. So that's connected. Next, I'll go ahead and find my earbuds, which is this. And those two are connected. So as you can see, my Galaxy Buds have been connected and this soundbar has been connected. Both are connected to the same phone. So here you can share audio with two devices at once. You can easily switch between Bluetooth accessories Perfect for entertainment, work and travel, and no reconnecting required each time. Feature number five is where you can take multiple screenshots at once and share them instantly. So you're helping someone troubleshoot an issue or sending multiple chat screenshots to a friend. Instead of capturing and sharing one by one, you take multiple screenshots back to back and share them instantly. Simple and fast. So here is an example. I wanna go ahead and share these screenshots. So I've taken three screenshots and now I wanna go ahead and share it. So to share them, I can go ahead and tap on gallery, go ahead and find those screenshots, select them one by one, and then share it. However, I don't want to do that. I wanna go ahead and just press a button, and then with one tap, I want it to share the screenshot. So to do this, I'll go ahead and open up modes and routine. Here we'll tap on routines, we'll tap on the plus sign, and here we'll create a routine. So if and then statement. So if, let's go ahead and create a button action. So let's say if I press, let's do the recent and I double tap on it. So this button here, so yes that. Then I want it to, so share images. So get the recent screenshot. And here, number of screenshots, so three. So once I double tap the recent button here, it will basically take the recent screenshots and it'll basically share it. So let's save that, give it a name and then press home. Now, when I go ahead and double tap on this recent button, you'll see that it's taken those three screenshots and now I can go ahead and share it using message apps or share it through the apps. So this is perfect for long conversation or pages. It saves time on sharing information, fewer taps, faster workflow, Great for work, tutorials, and support. Now, feature number six is where you can open an app automatically when a Bluetooth device connects. So you get into your car and your phone connects to Bluetooth. So instead of opening Spotify or Google Map manually, the app launches automatically. So your phone already knows what to do. So this is one of the smartest automation feature in One UI 8.0. You can basically set your phone to automatically open a specific app when a Bluetooth device connects. So let me show you how to do this. So here, open up modes and routine. In modes and routine, you wanna go ahead and tap on routines, tap on the plus sign. And here you wanna go ahead and configure the if and then statement. So if Bluetooth is connected, so you wanna do connected, select the device. So one of these devices has to be your car. So this is a car here, Tata Motors. So I'll tap on this. So once your phone connects to the Tata Motor, 
using Bluetooth. Then you can go ahead and configure it to open an app. So apps, open an app. So we'll go ahead and open up Spotify. Let's go ahead and search Spotify. Let's go ahead and add one more if we can do. And we wanna go ahead and app Google Maps. Now, this is the if and then statement which created. So if the Bluetooth device connects to a car like Tata Motors, then open Spotify and Maps, press save, done. So now when you go ahead and get into your car, your phone will automatically connect to Bluetooth. And by doing this, instead of you opening Spotify or Google Maps manually, your phone will automatically open those apps for you. So this saves time every day, creates a seamless experience, no extra apps required, and it's fully customizable. So you can go ahead and open maybe another navigation software like TomTom Tom or Waze. So the last feature is feature number seven, where you can open apps with your fingerprint. So you can unlock your phone, place a specific finger on the sensor, and your banking app opens instantly, while another fingerprint opens up a social media app. So this is fast, secure, and extremely convenient. So One UI 8.0 takes fingerprint security to the next level. You can assign different fingerprints to open specific app instantly. So here we'll go ahead and open up settings. You wanna go ahead and configure your fingerprints. So go into lock screen and AOD, screen lock and biometrics, enter in your current PIN number, tap on fingerprints. And here you need to go ahead and find out what all these fingerprints in. As you can see, I have given them a name. So this is index finger, thumb, and a pinky finger, and this is just my thumb again. So now once you've done that, press home. Now you wanna go ahead and open up modes and routine. Go ahead and tap on routines, tap on the plus sign. And here you need to go ahead and configure the if and then statement. So if, let's go ahead and unlock my fingerprint. So search fingerprint. So you need to search this, unlock your fingerprint. Here you can go ahead and choose what fingerprint. So let's say, if I unlock with my index finger, then I wanna go ahead and open up my banking app called Halifax. Save this, give this done, create another one. Again, search for fingerprint. If I go ahead and open it up with my pinky finger, then I want it to open up Facebook. So now that's saved and done. Now we'll go ahead and test it out. So here we'll go ahead and lock this device. We'll wake it up. Now using my pinky finger, we'll go ahead and unlock this. So as you can see, Facebook opens up. Now let's go ahead and try my index finger. And my banking app opens up. So this way you have faster app access. It gives you the extra privacy for sensitive apps, no searching or unlocking screens, and this feels incredibly smooth and modern. And that's it, seven powerful One UI 8.0 features that make your Samsung Galaxy phone smarter, faster, and more personal. So if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. Your like really helps this channel grow, and I honestly can't thank you enough. So a quick reminder, you can win a Samsung Galaxy grip case. How to enter, just go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Fill in the form linked in the description down below, and the winner will be announced on the 26th of December using a randomizer. So good luck to everyone who's entering. So this giveaway is my way of giving back to you guys because your support truly means everything. Thanks for watching, good luck with the giveaway, and I'll see you in the next video.